Yeah, uh, my name's Jeremy Beasley. I'm the head chef here at Rothamsted Enterprises. I've been here uh, coming up for four or five years now. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Good. Jeremy, well, thank you very much. We're here at Rothamsted. We've had a fantastic uh, Biz for Biz sustainability conference. Good. And uh, the kitchen itself is, uh, is, is a reflection of sustainability as well. Tell us uh, how you achieve that. Well, uh, basically, uh, when, when we first came here, um, I was very much aware, but not super aware of sustainability and, and that kind of stuff. And basically, uh, we reviewed all of our uh, processes and supply chains and we um, looked at how we can reduce the carbon footprint to start with. So we reduced our supplies to local 50 mile stroke 35 mile radius of the premises, uh, reduced it down to four suppliers, um, one for our meat, one for our fish, uh, one for our veg, and also one for kind of dry stores and sort of that's commodities as well. Um, then we started working with them to reduce our packaging um, so basically, um, we didn't want plastic packaging, so we're reducing all our single-use plastics down to a very minimum amount. Um, then COVID came and changed all that because we had to do takeaway service. Um, we also re reviewed all our menus, and our menus, uh, we, we basically took off 25% of our meat and put in vegan and vegetarian dishes, which is vegan, what you had today in the buffet. Um, our conference packages are the same as well. They're down, um, we reduced our meat by 25%. So there are more vegan and vegetarian options, which is sustainable. So tell me, we've had, a, as you said, a delicious uh, vegan curry, yeah. which we absolutely love. What's the difference between a vegan curry that we've had today and y your average lamb booner that you could have served up for us uh, as well? How would that have differed in the sustainability? What happens, and what happens is um, animals uh, produce more... Um, carbon dioxide than plants and also we're running out of land so basically everything that we're fighting for for the sustainability to work here is we basically borrow the earth and we need to make sure that everything that we borrow we give back and give it to our future generations so by reducing the amount of um, carbon footprint we're actually um, increasing more of our sustainable vegetable produce and within working like guidelines with the scientists here at Rothamsted, we have a big collaboration on how we can work that through. So um, we've done some uh, talks. I've worked in collaboration with the scientists to make a uh, bread that's um, got more um, fibre in it. And we did a, did a film about that. We've also worked with schools as well to uh, show them how they can eat vegan food, vegetarian food um, that's good for you and tastes good, tastes, tastes really nice. And that's a big thing that we do here. You obviously mentioned things like the vegan food mm. and the way you can make these kind of changes, which obviously for some people are, it's a culture change, but it's not a quick win, but it's an, an easier way of living. Are there other things that people wouldn't actually think of? You know, you mentioned packaging as well, but things of that nature that you can make a real difference uh, quite quickly? We, we have packaging, we also um, have straws. We used to use plastic straws and now we use straws that are made from sugar cane. All of our takeaway boxes are compostable and sustainable as well. Um, we use bamboo cups and containers. Um, but I think the big thing is to uh, compost as much stuff as you can and put that back into the earth and get the nutrients back in. And um, just find local suppliers. I'm a big believer in local suppliers because you can see the supply chain and you can see how they work with other people and local farmers to, to be sustainable. You know, there's the big can, ethics you, of us, of what we're about. You can offer this obviously here when people come to this. Yes. And obviously people can go home and they can obviously make some changes mm. in their home life as well. There's a lot of business people here as well. What, what can businesses do in terms of whether it's encouraging their employees or what can they do in terms of their own kind of food offering, whether it's vending machines or things of I th that nature? I, I, think, I think looking at um, the supplies that they use and um, seeing what their um, ethics are and what their vision and beliefs are with, with regards to sustainability and the, and the planet in, in, in general. Um, I think a lot of people are changing their opinions now. Four years ago, I didn't really know much about it. Vegan in chef words is a bit of a swear word. <laughs> and um, now, 
it's all come round and I, I understand it because I've worked with the scientists and I understand it and how much it does affect our planet and how much it affects our future generations. So I think for people to understand that and actually think, you know what, there's a lot of people living a lot longer. You know, um, we need to be able to provide that food and we're going to run out of food. This is what the scientists have been saying. We, we are actually going to run out of food unless we do something about it. So um, to work sustainable, use plants, they, they don't kill the environment and they're free to us. So, uh, you know, that's the way we look at it here and that's the way we work.